Well, it was in the year 2017 that the Apex Court handed down a new fundamental right to citizens of India like you and I, which is the fundamental right to privacy. Now, cut to 2024, citizens again, like you and I, have a new fundamental right, again coming from the top court of the country, the fundamental right to be free from adverse events of climate change. Now, what is this new right? What does it entail? And are there any new commitments that the centre will have to uphold on account of this new fundamental right? We'll answer all of those questions. Uh, first up, the Apex Court gave this judgment while uh, deciding a matter with, which dealt with the issue of preservation of the great Indian bustard, uh, the near-extinction bird, as compared to some of the efforts being made for advancing renewable energy in our country. Now, it is in this judgment that the right to a healthy environment has been clearly recorded as a fundamental right by the Apex Court. The Supreme Court records that the right to a healthy environment entails uh, an environment that is safe, that is secure, that is conducive for healthy, healthy growth and development. Here, uh, the Supreme Court records that this right is impeded uh, whenever you have climate-related developments, so whether that's storms, hurricanes, uh, adverse weather events, whether that's storm-borne diseases, water-borne diseases. These are the issues which are affecting this right to a healthy existence, the right to be free from adverse climate events. Now, it is here that the Supreme Court records that this right flows very naturally from two given fundamental rights, which is Article 21, the right to life, and Article 14, the right to equality. Here the Supreme Court records that the impact of the climate change is such that it is skewed against the disadvantage. Uh, with respect to right to life, he says, uh, the Apex Court records that whenever there is a food scarcity uh, on account of climate change, it, it disproportionately impacts the poor as compared to the rich. And whenever, say, the right to equality here, the Supreme Court records uh, that take, for instance, the rising sea levels, that would impact disproportionately those living in Lakshwadeep as compared to those living in Madhya Pradesh. So with that, the Apex Court has propounded this new right, right to be free uh, from impacts of climate change. Importantly, he says that this is a growing conversation, not just in India. It's being recognized internationally as well, that this is a rights-based movement. That is how perhaps the discourse needs to shift from climate change, uh, looking at it as a rights-based movement. To that end, in fact, the Supreme Court also records the Paris Agreement that was signed by various countries, which records uh, that as a part of this existence, as a part of this agreement, there is a recognition being given to the right to a healthy existence. Not just that, the Apex Court also observes that this imposes new commitments as far as the centre is concerned. The centre will now be compelled to look at and prioritise uh, sustainable development as well as ecologically sensitive growth. That is what is now falling on the shoulders of the centre. Here the Supreme Court records that the centre will now be required, uh, will be compelled to uphold its commitments under international uh, commitments, will also be required uh, to in fact give a thrust on renewable energy and also give due respect to the fundamental rights of citizens. So clearly the Apex Court propounding a new right, uh, giving the broad contours, uh, but it all falls now on the centre to take this forward.